So how do you use an iPad, MacBook, and even an iMac as a second screen? Stay tuned. All right, so let's get into this. So basically, as you all know, Catalina came out and actually has a new feature called Sidecar. That's not what I'm gonna talk about, so, so hold on a second. Um, that really only works with a, uh, you know, if you have a computer, a Mac computer, and you want to actually have a secondary screen on an I, like an iPad Pro or something, an iPad basically, you have to have an iPad next to it, and then you can beam your contents of your, your uh, Mac computer to the iPad. Um, the problem with that, obviously, is that's kind of a small secondary screen, number one. Number two, it's limited. It only goes from your computer, which is a Macintosh computer, over to an iPad, and, and sometimes you have other things that you want to try. For instance, let's say you have an extra iMac like this back here. Um, this happens to be a new one but I have a couple old ones downstairs let's say you have an old iMac you're using or even an old MacBook Pro um, and you want to go from your MacBook newer MacBook Pro and have an old MacBook Pro as your second screen or you have a new MacBook Pro and you want to have an iMac as your second screen so how do you do it well actually there's a couple different ways there's a good product out there that actually works it's more advanced. It just came out with a Mac, you know, Mac to Mac instead of Mac to iPad. Um, so it's basically gonna hopefully, uh, you know, it's a little bit better what I'm saying than the thing that Catalina came out with. So let's get into it. I'm gonna show you a little bit about it. Um, you know, obviously it's up to you to test it and, and find out a little bit more about it. I'm just gonna let you know it's available out there. So let's get into it. All right, so the basic product I'm gonna show you guys today is called Luna Display. It's lunadisplay.com. And the beauty about this product is it's better than the Catalina version of, with Sidecar, because you can actually, this is what Sidecar does. It basically moves files to a, a, you know iPad. But this can go from you know a MacBook Pro to a MacBook Pro, or a MacBook Pro to a, an iMac. Um, or you can run basically, you know, your, your Mac Mini, you can run a full screen off of that as well. So basically what this is, is this is actually a, it's called Luna Display again right here. It's a little dongle that you can buy right here. And you plug it in and it basically lets it wirelessly connect to a second display. So that's actually unique in itself. And it's a really nice system. So basically if you go down here, it says uh, Mac to, to, Mac to I, uh, iPad mode, which is basically just what Catalina's sidecar does. So that's, the, you know, that basically is the same as that. But then these new modes that just came out, is Mac to Mac mode and then headless mode. So Mac to Mac mode is use an external Mac as a display, perfect for anyone with multiple Macs. And, and so basically, if you want a, that older iMac to be a great, huge display, you can finally do it. Um, you know, use your uh, MacBook Pro as a is the main brains behind it, and then use your older iMac as the actual display um, or secondary display. And then you can actually the headless mode basically means you can harness the power of a computer. Use your Mac or iPad as the main display for a Mac Mini or MacBook or Mac Pro. Oh, I'm sorry. So basically, the beauty of this too is it turns in, let's go down here. So it's basically clear and lightning fast. Obviously, that's what they say. Um, from what I've heard though, it's worked really well for people. So it's actually, they've got a new software that just came out and it's basically gonna be working a lot better than some of the older versions. So it's actually um, been updated and it works really well. Um, but the really cool thing is it's got full touch support and gesture for iPad. So so basically you can, you know, let's say you have a, a MacBook Pro and you beam that over your secondary screen to your uh, iPad. Well, you basically, you know, if the screen is a, is a MacBook Pro on your iPad, it turns that you know your MacBook basically into a touch screen because you can then touch you know like right here basically you could touch the little you know just as you would gestures um, on the screen so basically your, your your you know your MacBook or iMac basically just became a touch screen on your iPad because your iPad has that functionality built in so that's one thing you can do that's really cool but the main thing I think this is for really is going to be more or less if you're really just um, you know wanting a bigger screen like an iMac or something obviously a lot of places down here are saying this is a really good device you know Mac stories I'm more Apple Insider, TechCrunch, 9to5Mac, The Verge. So it has been tested by a lot of different places. So again, it's called Luna Display, um, you know, and it's basically one of those things that you just have to kind of try and uh, see how everything works. And really quickly again, and so here's meet Mac to Mac mode. That's kind of the newer mode, the one that Catalina doesn't really do well. And if you go down here, um, obviously not everyone wants to upgrade to Catalina, so that might not be an option for everyone. But again, here, here it basically just shows you, you can go from an iMac plus I, uh, MacBook Pro, MacBook plus MacBook or a Mac Mini to a MacBook. So, I mean, basically it's endless. You can basically beam, have a secondary screen any way you want it on your desktop there. And it usually uh, works really well from what I've heard. And uh, obviously now, some of the things here that are important, um, and this is one of the things I wanted to go through really quickly. I'll go ahead and view and zoom in on this really quickly so everyone can see this. Um, 
right in here. But your primary Mac, so basically there's some limitations on the one that's called Sidecar, but this one is a, it can go back a lot further. So your primary Mac that you actually have this dongle in, this is the main Mac you'll be using, you know, is your host Mac. Um, it needs to be, uh, requires Mac OS 10, 10.11 El Capitan or later. So, you know, obviously that's, you know, it can't go too, too far back for the main one, but um, it does go back a little bit. So obviously that does help a lot of people because that's, you know, obviously not even close to the newest version. But the secondary Mac is where this shines a little bit because usually that's what's going to be a little bit older, like with iMacs and things. So this will be your extended display. So, um, you know, this basically only has to be Mac OS 10.8 Mountain Lion or later. So that's actually really good. So your secondary display only has to be upgraded to, to Mac OS 10.8 Mountain Lion. And uh, you do have to have a, a reliable network connection, um, but most people should have that, obviously, if you're doing this kind of work. So anyways, you get the idea. Um, this is basically something that you can buy, and I'll go show you the price here now. The price basically, like get in here really quickly, we'll go back to the home screen. Um, you know, obviously these are for more for professional users or someone that really wants to utilize that screen because it's not gonna be that cheap. You have to pick the display, but it's $69.99. Um, for the actual uh, dongle and it looks like you can pick USB-C or uh, mini display ports you got to ma make sure you pick your connection whatever you want or whatever you think is going to work better for you depending on what your host computer is and uh, anyways there's a lot of frequently asked questions in here as well that you guys can go through if you come to it so it's again lunadisplay.com um, go ahead and check it out that's all I got for you today all right, so you see the advantages right there. So the advantages basically are gonna be, you can actually use some of these older systems like this um, as a secondary screen, and yeah, it doesn't have to be the small iPad, so. Um, obviously the disadvantages like we had gone through before is you actually have to, you know, you do, you do have to use a dongle, um, so it does take up a port and things like that, and also um, it's gonna cost you a little bit of money, it doesn't come included with the software. But if you're more of a professional and you want a big, big secondary screen and uh, you want it to work fairly easy, um, it was just updated too. It's basically gonna be a better version of the software, so it works really good. So, I mean, obviously put some comments in there of people that have tried it. Just wanna let you know what's out there. Obviously that's what I'm all about is just trying to help people figure out what's out there for the you know different products for the Mac. I also do videos though on finance, which is coming next, I promise you soon. I'm going to be doing one, uh, a lot of on more PC stuff as well, but uh, just product testing and things like that. But if you guys can help me and subscribe, it's going to really, really help me out. I, you know, I do those two to three videos a week and I need subscribers to continue. So anyways, I will talk to you guys next week. This is a short video. Take care.